Hi folks, this is Max from HTC, um, no, no, 1xroot.com, sorry, I forgot my site, I have too many sites. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to install a kernel. Um, first you'll need to download, uh, for example, I downloaded this uh, bricked kernel for 1x, uh, make sure it's for the right 1x, I have the international version, not the at and version, for this example. Um, so. I downloaded uh, brick kernel and it came in this uh, bricked underscore one x blah blah dot zip and then I connected my one x to my computer as a disk drive. Um, you can also download it straight to your phone. Um, I just prefer this method this way. Um, I just I just like it like this because downloading on your computer much faster. Uh, I'm gonna copy it into the storage. I usually like to put it in my download folder. So I got it copied over, and that's pretty much it. And let's go to our phone. Next, you want to put it into download uh, fast boot mode, um, and the hold, so hold down volume up, volume down, and the power button together. And then we're gonna boot into um, your recovery um, from fast boot, and that way it will correct uh, correctly flash the kernel. And you can do use this method for anything. It's the same method as uh, flashing ROMs. Um, so when you see that screen, hit hit the power button, to, um, and then you should see fast boot, and then connect a USB cable to your computer, and it should say fast boot USB like that. All right. And of course, you, um, you have to have your phone uh, unlocked already, unlocked bootloader, and rooted already. Um, if you don't know how to do that, go to 1xroot.com. And let's go to our computer. Next, uh, you're going to need uh, 1xroot.zip. Um, if you root it using my methods, you still have it. You should have, still have it in your download directory. Um, it's that thing right there. 1xroot right there. I'm um, sorry for the camera angle. Um, so if you have that, you're all good to go. Uh, hopefully you didn't re uh, delete it. If you didn't, download again and unzip it. And you should get a 1xroot.folder. Go to start uh, search and type cmd, or if you have a Mac or Linux, open up a terminal. If you don't know how to, just Google it, please. Um, and then um, do cd space down, downloads, like that. And then do cd space 1x root, like that. And then uh, we're going to type fast boot space. Um, boot space uh, recovery blah 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 dot img. This will actually boot into our recovery, uh, reboot into it, and uh, this is the best way to flash a kernel. The simplest way right now until we can find the way to get S off. Um, just do that, and uh, it's it, we're pretty much doing exactly what we did uh, with installing ROM. And for Mac and Linux, you'll need to do um, dot slash fastboot dash Mac like that. And for Linux, it's like that, all right? And that's pretty much done. Let's go uh, to our phone. Next, you'll find that your phone has booted into recovery. Now, this is different just booting into recovery from um, your bootloader. It actually um, boots so you can flash kernels. That's why we have to do this when we flash new ROMs, kernels. Um, so we're just going to flash the kernel. You don't have to do any wipe. Just do install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And then go find the folder um, where you unloaded it, um, or where you copy the kernel zip file. I put it in my download folder. Folder. There's my uh, bricked one x blah blah dot zip. Um, say yes um, and install, and that's it. It will install everything. And there we go. And uh, yes. And click next. Say yes, next. And uh, you don't actually have to separately flash boot.image since you've already booted into uh, fast boot from recovery, uh, fast boot, no, into, into recovery from fast boot. All right, just install it and you should be all good to go. Shall I reboot, stay in recovery, and next. Um, next, click next, and uh, finish. Go back and reboot system now. I think that did flash the kernel. I'm not sure if the installer flashed the kernel. 
it should have um, if it didn't then uh, you might have to actually do it because I think just for this ROM you might have to actually uh, flash boot image of the kernel from the, the fast boot um, but for for most kernels you should be able to do it um, you know, if you just do it we'll, we'll see we'll find out if it actually got the kernel on there if it did then uh, you don't have to because the authors for this kernel says you have to that might be because he used a graphic installer for it um, we'll see we'll figure it out but also make sure um, a lot of the kernels that um, they're not compatible with like CM9 or AOKP ROMs um, you know versus Sense so make sure they're compatible with uh, both Sense and AOSP AOSP is pretty much you know what AOKP CM9 is um, so let's go to uh, about or settings. I'm running core droid right now. So at least it booted. If it didn't boot, um, you probably flashed the wrong kernel. But this one's based off sense, and uh, this kernel, I believe, is based off software information. Let's go to kernel. So it didn't flash it. Um, it didn't flash it. Oh, God. I should make a uh, separate one for this. Um, so we'll have to actually flash the kernel. Um, I'll just walk you through. But in most cases, that should be it. Uh, but just for this brick kernel that I'm installing, I have to do this. So, so I'm going to basically uh, extract all the files here. And uh, if you extract all the files, If you extract all the files, you'll get a bunch of files. Look under kernel folder. You'll find the boot.image. That's pretty much the kernel. Um, do a right click copy. And then put it in the uh, 1x uh, root directory. Right here. And paste. Alright. And next we're going to put it into uh, bootloader mode. Hold down. Uh, or fast, yeah, bootloader mode. Hold down, volume up, volume down, power button. And uh, there we go. Almost there. Same thing, we're going to put in the same fast boot mode, but we're going to flash uh, straight from fast boot. There we go. So we were there. Um, go to fast boot, hit the power button. We'll say fast boot like before. Uh, connect a micro USB cable. Should say fast boot USB. Leave it alone. Um, go back to the command prompt or the terminal. And we're gonna type. We're gonna type fast boot uh, space flash space boot space boot dot img. This will actually flash the kernel into the boot um, place. Uh, for Mac again dot slash fast boot dash Mac and Linux fast boot dash Linux. All right, and this should work. This will um, flash the partition and uh, simply reboot. The power button, and let me just change the camera angle. And uh, that should flash everything. So the the graphic installer basically installed the modules, and we flashed the um, the boot dot img manually. Um, and uh, we should have a fully flashed kernel here. Um, so this is for the bricked kernel. Um, in the probably you probably don't have to do the second part, but. It doesn't hurt to do all of this. Um, it, it can apply to any kernel. Um, you can't hurt your phone by doing it. Other than if you flash the wrong kernel to the wrong um, ROM. So just make sure you flash sense to sense ROMs and uh, AOSP compatible ROMs to AOKP or CM9. The ones without sense. All right. Those are just in a sense called AOSP. Those of you who don't know. And uh, let's go look at settings again and see if we have the new kernel. Because it'll, it it'll change the, um, the kernel version here. So now it says bricked. Yeah, so now this is the actual kernel. And let's see if the, um, the one of the major features of this kernel is that it has a sweep to wake. Which means you can sweep like that to wake. And like that to um, unawake. No, there we go, it's working. I have to just kind of do it a little bit harder. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I could do this all day. High on Android. High on Android. High on Android. 
Hi on Android. All right, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> wait, wait, let's do a couple more times. Hi on Android. Hi on Android. Oh yeah. Anyway, that's how you install kernel. I have also linked to the brick kernel uh, 1x. Um, and uh, if there's overclocking, I'll do another review of this. But pff, I don't know if there's overclocking on this. Um, there's also Franco kernel. I'm gonna go try that. I'll, I'll try, keep trying some kernels. You know, but I have new kernel. Cool. Uh, see y'all later. And uh, subscribe if you have a HTC One X. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, onexroot.com. I actually have a link in the description if you're on YouTube. Um, you can click on that and uh, um, find the link to subscription, or you can go to my site and uh, it should be somewhere there. And uh, that way I can update you once or twice a week with you know hacks, tips, and stuff like this. And I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me down here. And subscribe button here. It helps me greatly. Thanks a lot if you have. And share this with your friends on um, Google, Twitter, and Facebook. You know, Google Plus. Uh, use that share button. Anyway, say hi on Android, folks. Uh, if you have any cool things I should check out today, uh, don't forget to leave in the comments. Um, this one I kind of checked out because uh, somebody was saying... Um, ah. Never mind. See you guys later. Don't be an eye whore.